Hi guys, it's me again. Yeah, so, um, the, the, the <clears throat> I don't know how many of you have ever seen the film, or read the book for that matter, but the film is good as well, of the Celestine Prophecy. Uh, I really like the Celestine Prophecy. It was written in the 80s, I think. And it was... It was a prophecy. It was interesting because it was really... I don't think that the person who wrote it actually meant or knew or, or really understood what they were writing. Because they, I think they wrote it as well as a novel. You know, they were obviously some sort of spiritual person, maybe some ageing hippie, whatever, I don't know. Um, they wrote a book. And it's become a prophecy because it is actually happening, the, the, the Celestine Prophecy is happening. And for those of you who have seen the film, or read the book, you know, when he gets to the compound, to this com commune, whatever, everybody there is really, they are all tr truly 100% committed to looking uh, within themselves, to really doing the work, to really own their own shit, to really fight their own demons, their own battles, to, to own it, to, to take full responsibility for all of it and to love themselves because that is what self-love is. To say, you know, this is how I'm feeling. I'm fucking like completely insane and distorted. I'm insane with the pain. I have shadows here that, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I, I, there aren't even any words for how fucked up I feel, right? But I'm going to own that. I'm going to own that. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to bring myself home and all that. And they, they're doing that. And these people are also very aware of, of not only self-respect, but respecting each other. Which is one, an, another aspect in this world that I see continually being fucking abused and it fucking fucks me off. It's like when somebody tells you they're not feeling well and you use that as an excuse to encroach on their territory, then you are not fucking, you're an asshole, you're a fucking asshole. You either have genuine empathy for somebody and compassion. And with that, also know that you cannot fix this person, that this person is not there to be fixed by you, to be condescended to, to be patronized in any sense or any way or any form, or being told that you're just not quite good enough, or if this is happening to you, it means you're getting it all wrong, or whatever, whatever, whatever. Because that means you're a fucking feeder. That is schadenfreude. Look it up, people. Does that make you feel better then, does it? Because if it does, you're no good. You're going to have to go in there and look at yourself because you're probably a bit of a narc. Um, oh, there's no coffee in my cup. Oh, mummy. Mm, was the last drop. Anyway. Um... We are soul travellers, that is, we're here now going through the most, the, the, the densest, I was going to say the most densest, it's like, oh, tuk, no, no, the densest, darkest, fucking soul grinding episode of our entire existence, right? We each have our work cut out for us. The last fucking thing we need is some fucker there saying, well, you know, you, you're this and you're that and you're not getting it right and you're not ooh and ah and judge and make assumptions and say, why don't you do this and why don't you do that, which is invariably not at all helpful whatsoever. It's like, what? Because they don't say it because they care and they want to help. No, no, they say it because they have egos that need fucking fears. Like, look at me, I'm so much better than you. And, oh, why don't you go here? Why don't you do that? And why don't you? And why don't you? And why don't you? Instead of saying, you know, you're going through a really tough time. I also know that you are going to make it. That you're going to be all right because you're a soul traveler. Because somehow, somehow... Despite all the shit and all the darkness that we are feeling within, without all of it, all this insane 
gluey mess, the soup. Despite all of that, <coughs> there is light. I, I am the light. You are the light. Um, but so-called spiritual people that are not spiritual, that are really just NPCs mimicking, yeah, they're there to trip us up. They're there to continually encroach on our territory. They do not respect our boundaries. They are there to kick the dog when the dog is down. I noticed this many, many times throughout my life that there are these types of people that do not respect your boundaries, that actually do not like you for having boundaries because when you have strong boundaries, you are fierce and you say, okay, that's it, you've just stepped onto my fucking territory. You're fucking out of order, now get. Because when people do that, and you know that they've done it with a certain malice and a certain intent and a certain selfish, ego-satisfying type bullshit, then you know that. And it's like, right, I don't want you in my life in any way or shape or form. Now get, because you are not a soul traveler. I don't know what you are. I'm not even going to make assumptions because I am not like you. I'm not going to make any judgments. I'm not going to make any assumptions. I'm not going to hate you. I say go, I forgive you, but go. I don't want you in my life anymore. Love doesn't mean we have to be kind and nice to everybody. Love is fierce and love says, right, you've taken the piss out of me. You disrespect my boundaries. You disrespect my sovereignty, my ability to live my experience here and fulfill my destiny and my quest. Yes, I may be on my fucking knees right now struggling, like a gutted fucking mess. That doesn't mean that you should swoop in and tell me that, oh, well, you're all wrong, you see, because you should be happy or blah, blah, blah. No, actually what that tells me is that my state currently <clears throat> is making you feel uncomfortable. And the reason it's making you feel uncomfortable is because you are not fucking looking at your own shit. That's why, because you're a fucking coward. That's why. Um, because it's fucking bullshit, people. Because we need to honor our own selves and our own journeys and experiences and our own ability to get somehow to get through this. And not just to get through this, but to come through this and out of this with flying colors. With a great big fucking cosmic funfair saying, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Derek from the Green Wizard is always saying, congratulating each other, you know, great bliss and joy, and yes, we have fucking well done it, that's right, that's right, I concur with that. Great little channel, by the way, people, for any of you who haven't checked it out, the Green Wizard, um, you know, turns out bloody good stuff, as always. Um, but, yeah, we live in a time where increasingly we are becoming very aware of ourselves and what we have created. And we, we, we live in a time where we're not, we're not able to get away with it anymore, you know. It's, it's, like, it's like, no, you're not going to get away with it. Here you go, here are the fruits of your labours, here is your shadow. Here is all your delusions and your illusions and all the crap you've told yourself. Oh, it's going to be, it's like this and it's like that. No, it isn't like this and it isn't like that and it's not all right. You need to face this, this programming now. You're so worthless, you don't deserve to exist. Which makes you go through life accepting all kinds of evil, nasty bullshit. It's time now to really face it all oh, we, we are having to do it people this the mundane reality programming this is all there is this is all there is there's nothing you can do you're powerless Whew, i've been getting that so much i've been getting all sorts uh you know and then when you when you know and, and then just 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 about being just real real 
and then oh they come crawling out of the woodwork you know in, in your in your chattings with people when you're just being real and and they do they encroach upon your territory this is my motherfucking territory this is my experience any true friend or genuine souled person who is doing their fucking work would understand, I feel, to a degree at least, that I cannot do it for you. You cannot do it for me. If there's any kind of need for, oh, I need to tell you what to do now and I need to, sh you know, because you're just not going to be able to do it. That's really what that is, you see. You don't have faith in yourself. If you don't have faith, when I used to, back in the day, when I used to go about rescuing people, I had no faith in their ability to sort their own shit out. That is why I was doing it. And the reason for that was that I had no fucking faith in my own ability to sort my shit out. I didn't. The minute I stopped rescuing people, because it really came up, and really started thinking about it, and really going in my oh, wow, wow, yeah. I have absolutely no faith in myself. You see? There are so many different players in this and there's so many different nuances. There are these NPCs that have been in our lives that we thought were real people. Genuine people. And they're not. NPCs are very good. They're often covert narcissists. And the covert narcissist is the hardest to pin down of all the narcissists. They're the most difficult to, um, to unmask. To have you going for a very very long time but anyway i digress um okay this is a bit and a bit it, it, it's like when you're in the forge and we are all in the forge here this is the forge this is where true souls are being purified now and that requires brutal fucking honesty and and so that's why I felt like quickly doing this video this morning because anybody encroaching on my territory blatantly disregarding my boundaries feeling the need to tell me how I should live my life and what I should or should not do or how I am wrong because you know um, if you were spiritually enlightened, you would feel like this and look like that and act like that. And it's like, I never claim to be spiritually enlightened. I don't believe in spiritual enlightenment. I think it's a fucking load of nonsense. There is no such thing. You're just a fucking dogma-loving asshole and an NPC. Now fuck off and get out of my life before I fucking... Right, there. Um... All the bullshit speakers and all the bullshit actors and all the fucking NPCs and all the crap and all the shit. Right? I'm not interested. But of course, of course, that all that manifested, all that is manifesting at the moment because again, it's trying to show me something. It's like, oh, Anika, which doors have you left slightly ajar in your being? Everything that we have left by the roadside thinking, oh, it, 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 it will wait, I don't have to deal with it, I don't have to look at that, is now here saying, you're going to look at me, I'm here. <laughs> so that's it, people, but yeah. Um, it's just there's so many people that claim to be awake. I'm awake, you know, I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake. And it's like, no, you're not, no, you're not, no, you're not, you're not awake, you're not even awakening at all because... It's all ego. It's not real. It's virtue signaling. It's not real. It's all bullshit. Until you cut the crap and get fucking real, which takes great courage, then you're not awakening at all. Working out that, oh, there's something wrong with the world and the political system isn't very nice, it's like, oh, that's nothing. Or thinking that to, to score a few points for yourself by swooping in and kicking a dog when it's down, encroaching on somebody else's journey that that is defiling somebody's soul in my opinion it, it's one of the worst things it really is it's a big fucking crime against the soul um 
one way or another, I trust in other soul travelers' ability to walk their path. I would not presume to tell them where they're getting wrong or where they're getting right exactly. I mean, I have made that mistake. Yes, I have. But I became aware of it. I, whoa! And I realized what I was doing and why as well, because I did not trust myself. NPCs never change. They will do that sort of thing. They behave that way habitually. And so they, because remember what I said yesterday, they are mundane reality enforcement officers. That's what the NPCs are basically. They're mundane reality enforcement officers, right? So they're there to set up the status quo. They're the props of this reality. So, well, this is normal. This is how you behave. There's all these soap operas where these people behave that way. It's like um, fucking EastEnders and all that shit. And people are just, they, they, they're all a bunch of fucking psychopaths and sociopaths. And it's like, well, this is normal. This is the way you're supposed to. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's brilliant. And it's wonderful. And it's lovely. It's like, no, fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> it's bullshit. And it's bad for you. That's what George Carlin used to say. Because it's not. Because, you see, we each have our own field, as it were, our consciousness field, our zone, our experiences. We were born into this family. This is our identity for this journey. This is what we're going through. This is what's going on. This is what's happening. And it is unique to each and every fucking one of us. Now, when you sit together with a person going through a really tough time, and we are all going through a really tough time right now, and if you're not, then there's something not quite right, because this is awakening uh, on fucking steroids, like, right? Um, it's not about sitting around being home and being nice. That's just, again, that's dogmatic bullshit fucking nonsense. But anyway, um, you know, you sit there with each other. And you acknowledge each other. You say, I see what you're going through. You can give each other some advice. If you have it to give, if you've been through that situation yourself and you understand. It's about empathy. It's about compassion. It's about saying, you know, I understand how you feel. For I have been in similar situations. I get it. I feel that. I understand. You are not alone. I support you. And I believe in you. I believe in your ability to get through this to higher grounds that somehow this is serving you because it is and what serves one soul traveler will ultimately serve another soul traveler it will serve us all for it is logistic it is logistic people I guess i've been a little harsh in this video i i have been guilty of encroaching on others territory i have However, I am awake and aware to that and I don't do that now. No, I don't actually. I don't do that now. And I respect other soul travelers' ability. I respect that they know what they're doing. They may not know what they're doing, but they do know what they're doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I do know what I'm doing. It's like that, people, you know. Um... So if you're doing that, if you encroach on other people's territory, not because you're an NPC or because you're evil, but because you feel like you need to, there is like a drive almost. I used to feel that way. It was like, you have to do that. You have to focus outward and save the world, save the world. Have you noticed how everybody's fucking busy saving the world right now? There was a photo of a friend, thanks my darling, uh, it was hilarious, but you know, yesterday she sent me in, in an email of down here in Plymouth, downtown, where there's a shitload of these millennial virtue signaling assholes uh, lying on the floor like this with their hands tied behind them, as in poor George Floyd. <laughs> you know, and it's like black lives matter. Yes, I'm sure black, yes, black lives do matter. White lives matter. Yellow lives matter. Martian lives matter. Oh, it's all such a load of fucking bullshit. But you see, this is it, isn't it? It's just what this world stands for. It is fake, people. And also, you know, another thing that's been coming up for me. Sorry, this is really rambling all over the place. You know, I don't know if I even make any sense. <laughs> um, 
is the question of awakening and all the various different levels that ooh and ah, ah and we can judge or we like we can say well this person isn't very awake or that person isn't as far up as I am or that I that person is all the way up there and I want to get there somehow again this doesn't serve us it's logistic people when you start to understand that the nature of reality is far more mysterious that it isn't set in stone no, that is actually fluid and that it's energetic, for lack of a better word. It isn't energetic, but it is not solid at all and it morphs all the time. So don't get stuck in fixity of any kind because you know what? Reality isn't fixed. So if you get stuck in fixity and if you get stuck in dogma of this is who I am, I identify with this. This is who I am. This is my identity. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> you're not living in a zoo <laughs> then then you're fixing you're fixed that's it and it will never serve you you know it's absolute bullshit none of these things are real none of them uh, are real at all they're traps and they're there for a reason definitely uh, It's like, let each other be, you know, if, if, if you, you, yeah, have each other's back, by all means, give each other support, by all means, but do not seek to rescue anybody, for they don't need to be rescued. Do not feel the need to encroach upon other people's territory for egotistical reasons. If you're doing that, then you have an issue and you need to address that. Or you're just an NPC. <laughs> and, yeah sad person needs to cut ties with you but you know i don't think any npcs are watching this at all i think you're all soul travelers one way or another and we're all at different levels of 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 this experience you know which is perfectly okay because you are there for a reason and you'll move on you're not fixed it's going to be okay i mean i myself i'm having to to deal with a shitload of triggers health problems and so forth and so on because these triggers happen to unearth within me this dark shit that has to be dislodged. It's like a complex mining operation, I've said that before. That's why we go through shit now, more than before even. Because there is the way to go within us that has to be cleared out. Because when it's cleared out, we are... We will experience a different, a, re, a new reality. It, it, it sounds old, I know, everybody thinks that reality is set in stone and that it's going to get better because Q is going to save us or we'll change the political system and then we'll have free energy and all that. But this is bullshit, this is absolute nonsense. This is not what we think it is. Reality is not what we think it is at all. It's a very convincing illusion. And the biggest illusion of it is, and this is what evil uses against us uh, time and time again, it says, well, look at your life, look where you've been, look what you've been through, look what's happening in the world, look what everybody's going through. It's real, it's real, and this is all there is. And the best you can hope for is that it gets a little bit better. Yeah, somebody will come and rescue you and you will get, you know, you'll get a little bit better and you'll, you'll have free energy. Which, critical thinking skills seriously lacking there. Yeah, it's, it's bullshit. This... Is Plato's cave. The sooner you realize that, the better it is. Then you can start to work around with the magic. The magic lies in realizing that the biggest linchpin, the clinching factor here that evil uses against us all is that we've been fucking traumatized people severely. So we have been mentally, emotionally, physically, energetically distorted. And that's why we're all going through so much shit, because that distortion is being sorted out, that trauma is being healed, that those those um, energetic implants, eh, they're being dislodged and removed and neutralized. That's what I feel very strongly, that's what's shown to me. It keeps telling me to bear with it, to not give up, despite feeling like absolute shit, despite having been on a heavy, 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 heavy fire. It says the reason that's happening is because all of this shit within you is being sorted out so that evil can no longer say, well, oh, look at your life, it's been so difficult, it's been, you know, you're worthless and you're powerless, there's nothing you can do, this is all there is, this is all there is, this is all there is. 
and it does that 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 is it that's that's what it does to people you see that is how it reinforces this reality that's why it has these npc mundane reality reinforcement officers uh, walking around saying oh it's wonderful it's wonderful you know it's not it's not it's not it's an abomination we came here to sort this shit out so we came in here we inherited wetico from the bloodlines and everything around us and now the wetico is being healed it's being neutralized it's being sorted out it's being cast out it's being alchemized they, there's a million different words or explanations that you can you could use for it and it doesn't really matter because it's all language which is in a way off wetico believe it or not in a way um, but it is, it's being sorted out and that's why it's kicking up such a fuss within and without. We stay the course. I am responsible for me and my quest here. You are responsible for you and your quest over there. We can talk about our experiences, we can sympathize, we can empathize, we can have compassion, but we cannot you cannot do it for me, I cannot do it for you. Logistically, we are where we're meant to be and we are going through what we're meant to be going through. We need to face within us that which has given rise to what's happening here now. Whatever shit is happening, whatever trigger is happening, is there for a reason. It isn't meaningless, it is meaningful. That's it, That I feel that very strongly. And it might be incredibly unpleasant, it might be incredibly shocking and overwhelming and gut-wrenchingly fucking awful, I know, yes it is. And yet, you will find every fucking time you have somehow the strength and the courage and the will and the focus to stand your ground in the middle of it all. And we still transcend, our consciousness, is st the new consciousness is still born again and again it's growing growing and that will continue to happen you know we ain't done here people not yet but we will be so if you find that you cannot trust other people on their quest other soul travelers that you have to interject and tell them what to do and how they're getting it wrong you need to go within yourself because ultimately you don't trust yourself, you don't trust your own quest, so you need to go to your life, to your psyche. Go start digging around in yourself instead of other people. Alright? I don't know, I got a bit lippy at the beginning of this video, but um, I do get sick of it, I really, really do. These people that, but then they are NPCs, you see, because they want to feed the feeders. Because they're all parasites, there's no doubt about it, you know. Because that's what this realm is, that's what Wetigo is. It's essentially that and it needs to feed and that is what evil is. Trauma is the gateway, you see, so... Yeah. I think that's about it for today, people. It's like... <laughs> I can't take my match now. Okay, cool.